we're going to be taking you on our family road trip across New Brunswick. After two days driving across Ontario and Quebec, we finally arrived at our destination, Fredericton, the capital of New Brunswick and also the city that Sam's parents call home. In this video, we'll be showing you some of our Fredericton highlights and then we'll be touring the charming seaside town of St. Andrews, hiking in Fundy National Park and marveling at the Hopewell Rocks on the Bay of Fundy, which is home to the highest tides in the whole world. We hope you'll enjoy our tour of the province and now let's go explore New Brunswick. Good morning, good morning guys. Greetings from beautiful, sunny Fredericton, New Brunswick. It is summer, it summer is beautiful, here. and this is where we are kicking off our road trip. Yes. So we've got a full day here in Fredericton. Yep. So we're here with my parents and with Sam's parents and yep. with the dog. So we're gonna be exploring around on foot. Right now we're walking along Waterloo Road, which yep. is known for its beautiful riverside homes. Yeah, so we're gonna exactly. show you some of that and yes. then check out more of the town. Yeah, so basically we're gonna be exploring Fredericton. We're mm -hmm. gonna be exploring some other areas in the province. So yeah, yeah. this is gonna be what, we, what we're up to in the province of New Brunswick. Hope you like this little guide. We are walking around uh, here. There is a river, the St. John River over there. And uh, what uh, we wanted to show you is all these colonial houses. Uh, to me, there is nothing nicer than this. These houses, they have such a personality. They have a history and they are built the way houses used to be built eh, in the day. You know, we are talking about the late 1700s, eh, early 1800s. Eh? And uh, I don't know you look at a house like this, myself, I feel like any minute you're going to see George Washington uh, coming out of the front door, you know, <laughs> or maybe Jacques Cartier or something. It's so historic. It's amazing the way they have kept it, you know. Each one has a different uh, character, is different than the other one. You do not see two that are exactly the same. They are all different. We've been walking here for about uh, maybe a kilometer or so, and they are side by side. So if you ever come to the city of uh, Fredericton, please take the time, come here, take a walk. You can, you know, ride a bike, whatever, but do not miss this section if you like architecture and things like this, because it's really, really worth uh, your time. Um, and one thing I wanted to mention is that a lot of these mansions have been turned into bed and breakfasts. So it's a really nice option for people coming to visit Fredericton. You can stay right by the river, really close to the old town, and yeah, you get to experience this beautiful architecture, a type of construction that you don't even see anymore. So we're gonna keep walking along Waterloo Row. It is a very hot day today. We are melting but we want to keep showing my parents the homes along here because it's their first time in the province and yeah, it's just very different from Ontario. Well, well, Samuel, here we are here exploring we are. your parents' hometown with fresh eyes. I know, it's, it, we, we don't play tours here very often. No. Just, we come here to hang out. It's basically more like a living situation whenever we're here. Yeah. So it's been nice to show your parents around, show them some of the nicer old homes by the river. And now we're going to walk across the pedestrian bridge and we're yeah. going to have some lunch. And I have to say, my dad is loving the oh, yeah. homes here. We keep stopping to yeah. admire them well, and talk about construction. What he likes most is that every single house has a unique design. Back, yeah. at, back when they were built, that's how architecture was done. Yeah. Like this cookie cutter mold that you see today. Yeah, not like the suburbs yeah. where they live in Ontario. Exactly. So every house has its own unique character, its own unique features. So it's been really fascinating just walking along here by the river and checking them out. Mm-hmm. Yep. And now we are making our way over to the walking bridge. We're going to cross to the other side and I think food and drinks are on the horizon. We need both.
simpler portion of yours. Ooh, four sliders. Yeah, the sliders. Light. Very sliders nice. From, from dark to light. Ooh. Where are we sitting? So we stopped at a restaurant where if you go we to the bar, that. you can ask for a bowl of water for your pooch. Isn't that right, Togi? Water for pooch? You gonna get some oh more? my! What a good boy. Oh, he's thirsty. Wow. <laughs> he might need more. <laughs> yeah, so what do we got over here? We have a sampler plate from Picaroons. Uh, right on the waterfront of the St. John River. Yeah. Beautiful location. The strongest one, I think it's kind of like a, uh, a stout. Stout. And that's the best bitter. Yeah. Uh, that's this the, is the dooryard, I think. Yeah. yeah. Oh, one of them is the red red Irish, too. This I'm, is the red Irish. Yeah. That's the dooryard. Yeah. Dooryard. Okay. Yeah. So I'll, uh, I'll try this one here. Try this them is, all. This Tell is me favorite. what your favorite is. This is my favorite. You like stouts? Mm -hmm. Nice full body flavor. Yeah. This one here is a little bit higher in alcohol, but mm, very good. I hope my palate can readjust for each one of these. <laughs> Irish red. Irish red. <laughs> and last but, last not, but least, not least, this is the lightest one, of course. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. All right, I'm going to put you on the spot. Okay. If you had to rank them from from last to, to first, last to first, yeah, last this to first, be last, last, second last, second best, first. So they were lined, they were lined up they for were you. Lined then. up like that. Perfect, they, they had perfect, a perfectly perfect. aligned. So the stout for the win. The stout. This is the winner. The winner the right stout. there. And now we are waiting for yes. fish. So we got fish and, and chips and burgers. Chips. Yeah. My yeah. parents. My parents ordered burgers and the rest of us ordered fish and chips. So. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we're out on the east coast. Gotta eat some fish. We gotta have some fish. Fish and chips arrived. Haddock, I believe, no? Mm -hmm. This looks wonderful. I will have one in a minute, sure. Mm. And so like fluffy and flaky and juicy. Mm, your parents are feeding you onion rings, oh, yeah? Wow. I'm getting onion rings behind the scenes. Mm. Here's, the, here's the onion ring, guys. And we've got some nice cool slot with apple. Wow. Which is nice. Cabbage and apple. Tasty, huh? A really nice meal for a summer day. Yeah. And the fish is wonderful. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. We took a break after all that food and drink, and later in the afternoon, we drove to Odell Park so that Togo could enjoy a walk in the woods. Well, guys, we have made it to Odell Park. Odell Park. Next stop of the day. Yes, the lungs of Fredericton. The lungs <laughs> of the city. It's basically yeah. a nice little forest, lots of trails here. Mm -hmm. And what's wonderful is it was 32 degrees today. Oh my gosh. And here, I would say it's five or oh. 10 degrees cooler. Oh, we got a little light streaming through. Yeah, it is so nice. You get a little bit of a breeze and yeah. it's just nice having a reprieve from that sun that beats down on your face. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. I've been here in winter with you. I've been here in autumn. It's Guys, a beautiful park any time of year. In the winter, I go snowshoeing here with my dad. Mm -hmm. we, we break trail, we get off of the trail. So much fun, mm -hmm. but for the time being, it's just a great place to walk the dog. There's yes. some huge old trees here. Your dad is like marveling at them. The size of them, yeah, are huge. And my my dad was saying that some of them are between 150 to 300 years old. So yeah. it's quite impressive, and yeah, it's just a beautiful place to come when you're in Fredericton. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend it. We enjoyed a nice dinner back with Sam's parents, and then called it a night because we had a busy day ahead. Yeah. Make some move for me. Salut! Salut! Hey! Salut, Kendrick. Alright, guys, it is our final morning in Fredericton. We're taking Togi for a walk. And we just stopped by the old burial ground, which is a cemetery right in the city center. And this was a cemetery for the loyalists. 
for the loyalists. No. Yeah. So, Mr. History Enthusiast here, yeah. let us know. <laughs> this, uh, the loyalists were uh, the people that left the United States. Well, it wasn't the United States yet because mm -hmm. it was during the, the War of Independence for mm -hmm. the United States. So, as the uh, British Army retreated, mainly from New York City and those areas, all the people that were loyal to the king or the crown, they also left with the uh, armed forces. So uh, this is the place in New Brunswick where they came and they settled. Uh, mm -hmm. There were so many of them mm -hmm. that they created kind of a new province for these people to start uh, anew, you know, to start mm -hmm. their lives all over again. Yeah, and this is the place where uh, it seems that they were uh, buried, you know, mm -hmm. this is the cemetery. And uh, yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's nice because it's not like a, a, your usual uh, cemetery that has no room, that everyone is piled up kind of grave to grave. Mm -hmm. And uh, another thing is the kind of uh, uh, tombstones that they were using in those mm -hmm. days, right? Yeah. Some of them, they look like a monolithic, like, you know, uh, you haven't, you don't see that uh, today anymore. But yeah. uh, there is a lot of history here. Believe me, it's, it's nice and uh, it's good thing that they keep it uh, like this. So we stopped uh, by here. We came uh, from the cemetery. We took a couple of uh, streets, uh, a walk, and uh, we mm -hmm. came to what uh, was uh, the uh, barracks. Uh, this is where the uh, British uh, garrison was uh, stationed in the in the days, you know. It's a beautiful building. They have kept it uh, almost uh, intact. And down here, all these uh, gates that uh, you see, that I imagine in the old days must have been to keep the artillery, you know, like, I mean, the cannons and stuff, the, the, the big machine, right? Uh, today, they they're used by the students because right here you have the uh, College of uh, Craft, Craft and Design. Design. Yeah. And then uh, the students, they set up a shop in each one of these and they uh, expose their uh, like showcase their work yeah, yeah. They, they crafty creations in the yeah. university and they, they they sell it to the tourists and stuff like that right but yeah it's a beautiful building and yeah it's a lot of history over here imagine this is uh, uh, from the days when a Canadian province uh, was created so you know there you have a little bit more history I showed my parents a few of the city landmarks stopping at Town Hall, the Lighthouse and the Legislative Building. And then it was time to hop in the car and start this road trip. Oh. Hey, okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. All right, so this is going to be a fun road trip. So happy that my dad can join me, Pumpy George. Yes, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, last time I <clears throat> went on a trip like this was in <coughs> 1979. Wow. I had worked uh, 13 summers in a row. Yeah. And I figured, well, you know, I, it's time to take a summer off. So we uh, jumped in. Uh, I had a 65 Chevy boat. I call it a boat because it was like it, it drives like a boat. You had to aim it. You couldn't drive it. <laughs> Anyways. Um, you guys took a big road trip, huh? Yeah, and it made it all the way there and back. We went to Gaspé. We went to uh, wow, all through Nova Scotia, Cape Breton. That's um, amazing. So you, you you know the places we're going to. Yeah. So yep. the question I have for you is um, the first place we're going to St Andrews. What what can pe what can we expect there? Because I've never been. Well, it's the pearl of New Brunswick. It's a must see place if you're coming so, to New so Brunswick. It's, it's like a, a little town located on the coast. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. 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 It's got it's it's got lots lots of charm. Beautiful place. Our next destination was St. Andrews, about a two hour drive away. This is a very picturesque seaside town where you can do whale watching excursions, boat tours and enjoy delicious seafood. Nice. 
so a little update from St. Andrews. We have arrived. It took us about two hours. Yep. We took the scenic route. Yeah. It's beautiful going through these small little towns, yes. meandering country roads. And we ended up here. We're right out by the sea now. Mm -hmm. Three degrees cooler, guys. Which is very nice. And yeah. we've arrived right around lunchtime. So yep. first things first, seafood. Seafood. We found a little restaurant called Shire Town Pub and yeah. we've ordered three seafood platters. They do take out so we've got a yeah. whole bunch of different things. Seafood, fish and chips. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we took the dog out for a little walk along the pier. There's people doing sailing today. There's whale watching. So yeah, yeah. it's just a nice tranquil little town out on the water and we're really enjoying it so far. We found mm -hmm. some shade. We're just chilling out here. So three seafood platters have arrived with a bit of everything. We've got fish and chips. Well, the fish, we've got shrimp, scallops, Lots of seafood. French fries. Uh huh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the uh, the fish, the filet. Which one are you gonna try, Dad? Yeah, I'm gonna try the fish too. Nice. Mm. Going for the scallops. Oh wow. Taste of the sea. Mmm. And mm. hmm, the fish, all the seafood is not overcooked, lightly battered, mm -hmm. and yeah. just lightly fried. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, the way perfect. you do it. Yeah. Everybody that uh, that. Uh, does seafood this is the way you're supposed to do it yeah mm -hmm. nice and fresh yeah. straight from the ocean straight Look, from the ocean the ocean is across the street right there yeah do you guys have a favorite so far yeah. out of the shrimp i like the, them all I like them all the scallops oh, yeah. are wonderful mm -hmm. scallops are so juicy mm -hmm. i tried one all right guys enjoy yeah Because it was such a hot day, we also made time to find the beach so that Togo could splash around and cool down. He was very happy with that. Oh, good boy. Okay, so we had a wonderful lunch. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh, that was delicious. It's amazing. So much variety, huh? Yes. Yeah, so fresh. It just has a, the flavor of the sea. You can't replicate that when you get yeah. frozen fish brought in from somewhere else. I don't know how else to explain it. You've got to come out here and try the local seafood I'm and fish. I'm looking forward to seafood every yeah. single day I mean, for the Jerusalem River. We've still got Russia. lobster, lobster rolls. We've got a lot more to try, but yeah. so far so good. Yeah, so after eating lunch, we came down to the beach. There's mm -hmm. like a little pebbly beach here in St. Andrews. And we gave Togo a little splash, a little swim Loved to it. cool off. His first time in, to, in the sea. Yes. He's done a lot of lakes. Time. He's done some rivers, but never. Yeah. Uh, he's never splish splashed in the, in, in the <laughs> ocean before. Yeah, so we're yeah. just enjoying a quick little pit stop before we get back in the car and continue driving. Yeah. Next stop is Cape and Ray. Yeah, we've got that's where we're staying. Uh, we've yeah. got about three hours to drive mm -hmm. and have a feeling we'll be making at least one more stop along the way to walk mm -hmm. the dog, you know. And so we're just going to plot, plot a, a route. I think there's a number of different ways to get there and hopefully yes. we'll take the most scenic one. Yeah, look, it's moving. It's Oh, it's, it a, a, it's, un, it's un weasel. That's a weasel? Where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like there. right there. At look. the bottom of the rock there. Hey. time to hop back in the car and drive to our next destination, Cape and Rage, where we had rented a cottage for the next two nights. It was about a three hour drive to get there with a few stops for the dog along the way. We had to cross all of Fundy National Park and that gave us a nice little taste of what we had to look forward to the next day.
arrived. This is home sweet home for the next two nights. A little bit windy out here. It is so much cooler in temperature um, from Fredericton. When we left this morning, it was like 35 degrees in Fredericton. Here it's 18 degrees. It's so much cooler. We have a nice breeze. We're by the ocean. The dog is loving it. He's just running around free. No need for a leash here. But yeah, we rented this cabin through Airbnb. It has four bedrooms. It's really big inside. They even left a bed for the dog, which is amazing. So right now we're just unloading everything from the cars and I'm going to take you in and give you a quick tour. What else? So you can see what it is like in here. It's really cozy and rustic, lots of wood. So there you have it. This is going to be your kitchen dining area for the next two nights and we have a big <laughs> living area here but honestly i think we're going to be spending most of our time outdoors we came here for the nature the scenery um yeah oh i'm looking very disheveled it's windy outside so yeah but there you have it the different bedrooms uh but yeah it was a really beautiful drive we can already see the tide, like when you're driving along the coast. My goodness, this is the biggest tide in the world and whoo-hoo, more of that to come. We were all pretty tired from a long day of driving, so we didn't do a whole lot that afternoon. We mainly unpacked, cooked some dinner and played with Togo out in the yard. No complaints from him. morning we got an early start and made our way to Fundy National Park for some hiking. After a few days of driving, Togu was thrilled to be out in the woods leading his pack down the trails. everyone we have made it to Fundy National Park first day here it's a windy one and a foggy one hey Togi dogs on the loose <laughs> and yeah we're gonna be doing some hiking in the National Park today we're at Wolf Point and what's the name of this trail Ship Haven Ship Haven is the name of the trail and <laughs> that's what it was <laughs> And yeah, there's actually a border walk here, which makes it really nice, super easy to walk. Just a few steps. We're in the woods, but we're also kind of following a river, it seems. So yeah, we're getting some nice views. It should lead to a beach. I think it continues. Oh, does it? Let's see. So yeah, we're starting off with a shorter trail, an easy one. Oh, look at that. And it has lots of really nice lookout points too.
So what do you guys think of the trail so far? It's been very nice. I like that it's a boardwalk, easy walk through the forest, shaded, great views along the way. And we're now making our way down to the beach. It's low tide, so yeah. we should yeah. be able to like walk on, on the seabed. Yeah. And Dad, we passed an old area where it used to be like uh, the there logging, was, there yeah. was logging, logging and, yeah, and, and yeah. timber area. Yeah. yeah. And uh, covered you know, bridge. Yeah. That was when back way back when most of this area was uh, that's what they used to do back then. Mm -hmm. Fishing and logging, you know, yeah. Chanel logging. Yeah. So Over now it's been replaced yeah. by a national forest, which is pretty good, you know, I mean, everybody gets a chance to come and visit here now, not yeah. just the loggers or the fishermen. That's yeah. it. That's <laughs> good. And you know, the nice part about all of these, there are no people here. We are the only ones, there is just another three persons that walk by here, and nature, full nature, and it's just pristine not even people you find over here right. so what a place to visit if you have the chance to come to new brunswick and visit this national park you know like a you'll love national park, you love it it's love amazing it. it's well worth your time whatever you do but don't drive through just stop yeah. here please, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah do it's, yeah. It's, it's 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 nice it's a nice uh, province and i could not believe the amount of forest I desc I'll describe this province as a huge forest, you know, like, I yeah. mean, it's, uh, it's beauty, I mean, all the way. Good boy. Hi. Oh, so oh, no, 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 no sea creatures to be found. Togo had lots of fun running around, free, wild. Now we're back at the picnic area where we left the car. Gonna have a little bite, Togi. Yes, guys. So yeah, just some fruit, peanuts, and we're gonna keep hiking. This is so beautiful though. Like I loved the trail, having a boardwalk, the views we got along the way, nature. It's just so green, so lush. And it's nice being out on an overcast day with like the fog rolling in. It's just so moody. Togo saw another dog. He's like, who's this? Is it a lady friend? Mm -mm -mm. Meanwhile, everyone else is already picnicking. Shall we go picnic, Togo? Let's go picnic. Come. Vamos. Vamos. Bum, 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 bum. After enjoying a little snack on the picnic tables, we got back in the car and drove towards Herring Cove to give Togo a chance to play in the water. I mean, this really was his vacation. An eye on Togo who's going in the water splashing around but we don't want him swimming too far, too far or drinking salt water <laughs> yeah um, but yeah we just wanted to stop here and show you guys uh, these rocks covered in seaweed and algae because you can really see the sea level during high tide low tide right now it's low tide though the water's starting to come in again but like where the rock is all wet it's like a darker color like that's how high yeah. the water comes Gets up, up there really high it's yeah. crazy yeah. these uh 
Bay of Fundy is uh, it's got the uh, highest uh, difference in tides in the world between uh, low tide and high tide. Eh? Yeah, it's amazing. But all of this eventually will be uh, covered mm -hmm. by the by the ocean, mm -hmm. and uh, it's uh, it's a huge difference because here we have like maybe I don't know what four meters at least of uh, yeah. you know the the fluctuation in this area. So and now we're starting to come in. And uh, when yeah. it starts to come in, it comes in really quick. So if you visit, you have to be careful when it's uh, low tide. If you go walking around, not to, not to, you know. Don't go too far. Don't you know, get caught. Don't get caught because yeah. once it comes, it comes, eh? Yeah. So. And well, yeah. they have the times posted in the visitor center. You can see yeah. when it's yes. going to be high tide, low tide. Yeah, and it fluctuates. Yeah. So it fluctuates, it fluctuates. Yeah. and it's crazy to be standing on what is a seabed right now. Yeah, yeah. seabed and uh, seaweed. Yeah. And this so. one is called Herring Cove Beach. Yeah. And beautiful views of the whole coastline if yeah. you want to visit. And the background is just pure forest, forest you know? yeah it's, it's amazing like the postcard perfect you see here and i think that's where we're staying that point yeah. over there yeah cape and rage cape and rage, cape yeah. and rage. that's where uh, it's just starting to clear now the fog look at it yeah. that's where we are staying and uh, this morning was all fogged in and uh, we couldn't mm -hmm. see nothing yeah but uh luckily it's just cleared and uh we are having a beautiful beautiful day yeah Indeed. yeah Then Sam and his dad drove to Alma to grab some lunch for the group. Alma is a small town located just outside the park, so they picked up some fish and chips and we enjoyed them with coastal views. we continued exploring the rest of Fundy National Park and visited two different lakes. Again, keeping our boy Togo happy. The fog was starting to roll in as we drove back to the cottage that afternoon and shortly after it started to rain. We didn't do too much except watch movies and do some reading, but we were lucky enough to have a very special visitor, this deer. The next day was another early start because it was our last day in the province and we couldn't miss the Hopewell Rocks. Well, good morning guys. Today is our final day here in New Brunswick and we've made a stop at the Hopewell Rocks, one of the most iconic tourist destinations here. And yeah, we've arrived early in the morning. It's like 8.15 now. They've just opened up the park and we're at one of the observation points, one of the lookouts where you lookouts. can see yeah. the tide. It's slowly making its way out. I think we have about an hour and a half or two yeah. hours until the tide is completely out, but it's yeah. already like moving away from, from the shoreline. Yeah, you and it can is so it. impressive. Yeah, you can see the rippling, the water mm -hmm. rippling out as it's uh, receding, huh? Yeah. It's, it's just amazing the amount of, uh, if you look in the background, the water is right here, right now. And look where is the shore. I mean, the, the, the stretch is unbelievable. It looks like you know? hundreds of meters. Yeah, it's, I don't know how many city blocks, you know, yeah. it has uh, retreated. And yeah. uh, also today, last night was, it was raining like crazy. Huh? Uh -huh. We thought that today oh, yeah. was going to be a write off the day. But this morning, I mean, it couldn't be better the day. It's mm -hmm. such a beautiful, sunny, cool, crispy day. One of those mornings that you just 
happy to be alive, you know? Yeah. It's just one of those mornings of wow. And uh, the other plus, there's no one here. We are the only yep. ones. Look, all this beauty and, and I don't know, maybe later on. What do you think? It's, it's worth it's getting a, up early. It's a yeah. Sunday morning crowd. It's a Sunday morning <laughs> exactly. crowd, you know? So yeah, we're just really enjoying it. And now we're going to make our way down to the flower pots. Because yeah. it's low tide, we're going to get to walk around the seabed. Yeah. But if you visit during high tide, you can actually go kayaking around the flower pots, which is really exactly. cool. Exactly. And so. also, it be prepared because the soil here, it seems to be all uh, clay. So yeah. I got the funny feeling that we're going to get sticky down there. You oh, know? we like, will. I mean, walking in... Uh, Slippery and uh, we're we'll hiking see. shoes. Yeah. We'll see what we find. Let's go check okay. it out. Let's, Let's check it out. Also his belly. The belly is the worst part I'd say. Well, we just finished visiting the Hopewell Rocks and this is very smart. Like when you walk around there you get really muddy. There's like this sticky red clay. And we were kind of worried like what are we going to do with the dog because he had mud on his paws, on his belly, like he was dripping mud essentially. But once he reached the top again, there's a little washing station with like uh, a hose where you can like spray down the dog. There's brushes where you can like scrub down your shoes. So it's very convenient, very well planned. Now we've got a wet dog, but at least it's a clean dog. Well, this marks the end of the New Brunswick portion of the road trip. We are now on our way towards Cape Breton. So we just wanted to share final thoughts and impressions on this beautiful province, New Brunswick. What did we think? I think it's uh, extremely beautiful. Mm -hmm. I've, uh, I didn't have any idea what uh, we were going to find, you know, what uh, the expectations were, but uh, they're beyond what I thought. It's a, uh, you know, it's a place worth visiting here, you know. I, a lot of people drive through here without stopping and there is so much to see and such a beautiful uh, wilderness, if you will, mm -hmm. you know, that, yeah, I really loved it. So, recommend it, 100%. And what about you? This is your home province now, you live here? Well, yeah, I, I got to see a little bit uh, more of what I didn't see before and so uh, that's always good. Mm -hmm. Funday Park, I, I got to know quite a bit more of that. That's an that's an awesome spot now. Beautiful. Thumbs up for New Brunswick. Yes, all the way. <laughs> all, the way. All, the way. all the way. All the way. And we'll see you and in the, the next wave. video. Onwards to Cape Breton. The big Bye. wave. Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs>